Yo, yo, my fucking fun, love, welcome welcome back, let's play Super Mario 3D World, last time we finished off World 6, and here we're going to be starting World 7, aka World Castle, starting off with, uh, I guess, Castle-1, Fort Fire Bros, okay, and this is actually a level I remember, so that's always good. Uh, yeah, so, um, as per usual, um, the, uh, first level of the world is, like, the world's theme, in this case, the world theme is lava, so, uh, got some lava stuff, oh, dang. I was kind of hoping that my fireballs... Okay, well, I, I guess my fireballs can at least clank. Um, okay, apparently there is a, actually a limit of how many fireballs I can shoot at once, which I uh, did not realize at the time. That limit being two, so... Um, okay, well, that was a very dramatic death animation on that fire bro. Like, <laughs> like what is that? I jump on him, and then he, like, just kind of... Like, flies backwards. I mean, okay, you know what? You do whatever. Uh, I feel like one of these, like, will send me up. Uh, okay, I guess not that one. I might be thinking of something completely different. Okay, I was right. Nice. Um, nice. Oh, I guess that killed all... Oh, I actually had to kill the fire, bro. I was gonna say that killed the, um... The Goombas as well. But, okay. Um, okay, I feel like I'm gonna wanna... Getting on top of this thwomp. Uh, I'm assuming that is possible. Just so I can get up there. This is one. Oh, is there a. Oh, there's stuff I can jump on. There's a lot of stuff I can jump on? Okay, okay. There we go. I mean. I, those invisible blocks always get me. Okay, um. So we got one of these. Um, I think we've seen these before. Basically, just uh, jump to make sure it's always in the right spot. Um, I guess here I gotta like quickly shift it over, but uh, not much else to that. I, I, I like puzzles like that. I, I like I like any like part of the game where it's like kind of shifts up like the uh, you know like the style like it goes from you know just a traditional platformer to like a sort of like puzzle based thing which is I guess that's sort of like the idea behind like the um uh like this flip swap panels in general um Okay, which one goes to which? Um, can I like snipe this guy? So I like don't have to worry about him. Okay, there we go. He's is dead. <laughs> it's kind of confusing, like which uh, pipe leads to which. Um, okay, uh, you know what? We're gonna actually be intelligent for once. Wow, those guys really scattered fast, didn't they? I was gonna say I'm I'm gonna take out uh, these things before I go for the uh, green star. One of them somehow didn't die. Uh, that's a bit suboptimal. You know what's more suboptimal? The fact that I didn't grab that coin the uh, first time around and almost missed it a second time, but uh, I guess we were able to grab it all. So it is all good. And okay, I guess we are going right through the lava. I gotta say, like, this lava looks pretty sick. Like, the blue lava. Um, I feel like, what do I have a feeling? I feel like I have to kill this guy. Um, mostly because I don't see how to get past this. Not really sure how to kill him. I guess I can take out like these Goombas uh, first and okay. And that just kind of destroyed all the enemies. Okay, that's funny. Um, alrighty then. Alright, uh, oh. Well. Enemy bouncing, don't fail me now. Okay, sweet. I actually was able to time the uh, A press right for once. Yeah, that's actually kind of a somewhat difficult like, grab the top of the flagpole thing, just because, like, if you mess up the enemy bounce, uh, you don't really have another chance. Like, the enemy will just be dead, and not really much you can do about that. Uh, I mean, unless, I guess, you have a cat suit, or, a, yeah, I guess, cat suit slash super bell to, uh, get up the other way. But, uh, I mean, that's fine, and... Alright, another lottery. They, it's been a while since we've seen one of those, actually. Maybe I just haven't ignoring them, or just not noticing them. Anyways, let's do this real quick. Alright, well, I got one one up from that, so I guess not a total loss. Um, Alright, that's Castle Dash 2. So we'll be coming here first. Switch Black Ruins. I, that level name does not sound familiar to me at all. And okay, we have a top-down level. Um, I remember the version of this level in 3D Land, which is like the Zelda one. That, that's the one I said I think I mentioned where there's like a puzzle where you need a fire flower to light a torch. Um, 
gotta say, it's really nice that, like, Mario somehow, or I guess in this case, Luigi is just lighting up a huge area so you can, like, kind of see what you're doing. Although, of course, you can't really see too far ahead. And, okay, so, is the idea I, like, hit all the switches? So, like, the switches also sort of, like, light things up. Um, and I guess when you hit them all, it lights up a lot. Does that, like, light everything up? Where are we? Okay. I was gonna say, like, if that, like, lit up the earlier section, and then, like, you could, like, see stuff you would have missed before. And okay, well, here's a fire flower, so I guess the idea is that, like, now we can... Okay, we can just sit up, like, the torches. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can also finally kill, like, enemies. I've been trying my best to avoid them uh, all this time. Um, okay, well, I almost just killed myself anyways, and... Okay. For a second, I thought, like, these, like, holes were, like, just, like, death. But I guess that's not the case. Also, um... I'm been trying to stay on the lookout for, like, you know, stuff. Um, Alright, we got some, like, torches to light. Um, Alright, get rid of the spinies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Clearly this is a level where you really don't want to lose your... Okay, there we go. I, I knew that there would be something like that somewhere in there. The light all the torches puzzle. Which is why I'm trying very hard to not get hit and lose uh, my power-up. Because uh, that would be very bad. Uh, well... Maybe I can get a spare here at least. Okay, well, there. Now I have a bit of leniency, but uh, still not too much. Okay, that's just kind of there. Wow, I just realized those those like crystals up there look pretty nice, like some emeralds or something. I believe that's the green like crystal, or it could be a lot of things. Okay, we got a one of you. <laughs> I was like admiring my bank shot. Meanwhile, I just got hit myself. I guess, you know, we, we took each other out. Like, I guess I guess it happens. Sometimes it goes like that. Okay, um, alright, I'll just grab this here. If not, I would have to use my own. Uh, what do we got? Um, anything for that? No. Maybe there are more torches. Um, okay, there are more torches. Still nothing. Uh, maybe there are even more torches somewhere also. Is there like anything on top of this? I remember in that uh, 3D land level there's one really high up as well that took me a long time to find. So I'm kind of thinking about that. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna say I assume that this moves. Um, wait, which way do I want to go? Okay, I want, probably want to go that way first. I assume that there's like something this way. Um, okay. Uh, the stamp. Sounds good. Okay, um... Alright, we got a lot of stuff to, uh, kill. That's fine. Okay, this is suboptimal routing, if I'm being honest. But, uh... Okay, wait. Okay, it has... It functions like that? I didn't... So it's like, if I stay on the same thing and then I jump, it switches over. Okay, that's interesting, because, um... In, in Galaxy, it doesn't do that. In Galaxy... If you, like, are on it, and then you just jump and land on it again, it doesn't change. You actually have to, uh, touch a completely different surface. And, okay, uh, suddenly the timer, um, is a thing. So, I guess, I, I guess I have been going pretty slow, haven't I? Um, okay, is there a way to get to that? More invisible blocks? Yep. I, I need to start, like, remembering that that's a thing. It's still not even high enough. Um, alright, wall jump then. Okay, that was too high. Okay, come on. There, there has to be, like, some way I can do this that gets in, right? Okay, bruh. Okay, seriously? Okay, is this not what I'm supposed to do? I really don't even know anymore. Okay, screw the... Screw the green star. I'm just gonna go to the end. Um, well, I'm not even gonna make it to the end. Um, well, maybe I can make it. Let's see how fast I can do this. Not fast enough. But what is that green star placement? Now, that's the worst placement, like, they could have possibly thought of. Like, it is... Wow. Like, they really just put it in the hardest-to-reach spot, didn't they? Um... Alright, well... That sucks. Alright, well, I have 235... Well, I guess it's not seconds... Mario units to get that, so, um... Hopefully I can get it at some point. Okay, can I do, like, a bigger jump? Like, can I do, like, a double jump off that? Uh... It's like a side flip thing in this game. Um, 
Okay, I, I guess you can side flip up there, uh, off the box. I don't know what you're supposed to do there, really. All I can say is I tried a lot of other techniques that just all failed for a while, so I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, cat suit would make that free, but uh, since the level didn't have a cat suit, I assume that that's not the uh, intended way as much as a just the cat suit breaking stuff as it tends to do. So I have no idea. Anyways, uh, that's the level pretty easy apart from that one specific green. So it's just like, because, I mean, a, a normal jump didn't make it high enough. A trying to do a wall kick made it like too high because I would hit the ceiling. And since it was like one brick against the wall, you couldn't really do like any other jumps off there. Like doing a double jump would just kind of be difficult. Plus, I don't think double jump really gets you that much higher. And I guess a side flip is barely enough to work if you can pull it off on such a, th a thin platform. So I'm not really sure. All right, Red Hot Run. Okay, I think I know what this level is. I think this is a like, uh, okay, yeah, it's the 100 second uh, level. Basically, you just got to go really fast and, uh, well, yeah, you got a really short time limit, but uh, you also move really fast. So really, the time limit isn't that much of an issue. It's along the lines of just moving fast and not dying. Although I suppose, to be fair, if there wasn't a short time limit, you wouldn't be nearly as pressured to um, go fast. So I guess it kind of just goes in conjunction. Although, I'm not really sure how slow you could really take a level like this anyways. Um, okay, I guess, I guess I'll go around again. Yeah, I always forget that like green stars just spawn like exactly where you are. Like like whenever you get like the last um, green star, um, the... Uh, like the like right, for the green star coins, it's oh, really that hit me, um, whatever, and uh, that hit me again. But uh, okay. Also, do I have to pick a? Uh, oh, I guess I chose the right one. Yeah, I guess there's three paths, and I guess the top one is the best one. Okay, I guess, I guess that's the level. Well, that was surprisingly like easy. I don't know if I just kind of fluked it or what. I will say that I definitely think that being Peach really helped with that level, because like, I mean, I've said before, I don't really have that much of a preference between these four characters, but I definitely think that, like, I don't think being able to float is that broken, but I do think that, like, um, like, for, for a level like that where you're constantly going fast, being able to float so that you have, like, more control over your jumps, I think, is really helpful, and I guess I just kind of got lucky that was the character that, uh, it was, like, their turn to play as. That's just kind of how it lined up. If I, I mean, if I was a different character, I would have played it as that character. So maybe I got lucky. Maybe that level is just kind of. I mean, you just have to go fast and not make any mistakes. And I don't really know. Well, anyways, um, and oh yeah, this was just the. Um, I didn't even comment on that at all. But I mean, that's just the uh, stamp house with the uh, cyan uh, Sprixy. That obviously being the one from World Six. And uh, figured I'd do this now since. Wait. Really? It, okay, I guess it's not always the left one. I guess every. I guess sometimes the left one is the one that just gives you a mushroom. So, um, well, that's interesting. Uh, mushroom, not really the optimal uh, power up, but I guess it is what it is. Anyways, uh, seven four, which I guess this is a required level. I think that's sort of the way that this world works is that there's sort of a lot of branching paths, and then like they kind of converge. So it was like um. Like, we had, um, like, 7-1, I'm just gonna keep calling it 7-1, I guess it's technically Castle-1 or whatever, but, like, 7-1 we had to do, then, like, we had the pick between 7-2 and 7-3, now we're back to having to do 7-4, and then I think after this, it's, uh, like, you only have to do 7-5 or 7-6, uh, not both, and then, like, you have to do 7-7, uh, to finish the world, I, I think that's how... It goes. Anyways, I'm just going to uh, wait. I assume that... Okay. Uh, so I guess we have a sort of similar green coin setup as in the last level. And Okay, that actually... Yeah, like that's once again, like, I always forget it spawns right where I am. I'm always used to it, like, having a designated spawn spot, like, in the center right there. But, uh, okay. Uh, we got some binoculars, so, um... Well, there's a green star. There's a pipe. Um, and I guess that's everything. I have to say, this level honestly looks really cool. Like, these, like, blue lava levels. Like, the way that, like, like the lighting on the lava, I guess. It, and it's sort of how, like, the entire level is sort of has, like, a blue tint to it. And you have, like, the, uh, like, the embers or whatnot in the air. I think it looks really cool. Um, I might just be dead. Um, can we... Okay, I guess we salvaged it. Yeah, I always 
Toad really not the character you want to rush with, and okay, I guess we have a mystery box as well, and um, okay, um, I guess we have to kill a bully um, without a power-up, so not the easiest thing to do. Um, well, that was <laughs> really bad. Um, and uh, I guess I didn't get a checkpoint, because we are back at the beginning. Alright, we're back here, but this time I actually have a power-up, so we can just easy mode this. Um, yeah, just die. <laughs> Like, like I said, I feel like in this game, like, just power-ups just make enemy combat, just makes combat so much easier. Like, especially with those bullies where, like, in order to kill them without a power-up, you kind of have to just sort of, like, jump into them. It's sort of an awkward angle. Uh, but if you, uh, if you have a power-up, you can just kind of destroy them with fire real easily. Anyways, okay, so, I guess that was that side, and yeah. Um, so I guess, like, the second green star and the... Um, stamp are kind of like the exact same type of, um, like, collective, like, the exact same, like, location, sort of, where it's just, you just jump off the side of, like, the, uh, like, the arrow platforms while it's moving around, and, uh, not too difficult. I think the third green star is somewhere around here, according to the, okay, yeah, there it is, um, so I guess the idea is it's just over here, and, alright, um, just come like this and okay um, wow there are a lot of fire flowers in this level that's for sure there's been a lot of fire flowers in this world as a whole I guess I mean I guess it sort of makes sense you got like the lava themed level or the lava themed world fire flowers or something okay um okay this um sl slants um can I use that to my advantage probably not um I'm just gonna can I like okay there we got one like I like, trying to like because you kind of have to, like, you can't jump on top of them. Because that just, like, doesn't send them anywhere. You have to, like, jump at them, like, at, like, a sort of, like, an angle. And that's, like, how you can kill them without a power-up. Um, there, I did it for one. Um, you, I'm just gonna easy mode. <laughs> wow, I, I feel like the fact that it slanted really made that actually a bit easier for me. Because, like, the bully just slid back so far. But, uh, I don't know. And, yeah, I guess it's just tilts to... Maybe, I guess just make it, makes it different. I'm not sure if it made it harder or easier just different. Also, Toad, what do you got for me? That's, you know what, I can uh, just try again, right? This just rises up. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, those ones always scare me when I have to, like, do a long jump, especially with a character who doesn't really have that great of a jumping. I kind of have to be a bit precise. Just because, I mean, for one thing, missing the top of the flagpole pretty bad. Because it's like, I mean, you miss, like, a green star or uh, the stamp, there's a chance you'll die and you can go back to try it. With the flagpole, if you miss it, you're guaranteed to have to redo the whole level. Um, oh, I guess that guy's back. And, uh, okay, I guess, I guess two mini-bosses are back, depending on which way you go. I'm not really sure which, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming the left side is usually the, uh, next level, and this is, like, the, uh, right side is, like, the, like, I'm assuming this level here is 7-5, and this is 7-6, so I guess we'll come here first. Um, so yeah, this is the guy from, I think, uh, I'll just stick with Toad, whatever, the, it's just this guy. Um, so yeah, this is the guy from, I think World 4, was it? Um, you just kind of pick up his uh, babies and throw them back. I think now there's like these um, spinning, um, really, my I meant to fireball that guy, but I guess it didn't activate. But yeah, I was going to say now, that didn't hit him, really. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I was going to say, like, things like these, like, fire balls have been added to make it a bit more difficult. A bit more of a challenge. Doesn't really make it that much harder. Uh, I guess it's just, like, you know, just a little something extra to avoid. And, uh, let's just... Um, okay, that's a lot of things. Really, that... I don't know how I missed, like, the biggest thing ever, but, uh, okay. I guess the thing that is annoying about them is that, like, they leave a trail of, like, lava that you can't touch. That sucks. Alright, well, um, I have a boulder. Uh, it's probably gonna respawn soon, so let's just throw it and drop it in. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of just had bad aim last time, I guess. So, um, I missed that one time, uh, but whatever. Apart from that, it's really not that different. I mean, obviously, uh, the difficulty highly scales with respect to 
what power up you have, so trying to do that as a regular toad was a bit more of a challenge than, say, you know, with a cat suit, but, uh, yeah, it, it just, I mean, the main thing about that boss is you just kind of have to be patient, you just kind of have to run around and wait for your opening, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, is this 7-5, well, um, sh you know what, sure, we'll do, we'll do 7-5 now, I guess, alright, trick trap tower, so, um, this is a level that I do not remember at all. It's, yeah, uh, but I guess we will find it out. Uh, we will find out what it's like on the way. It looks pretty cool. It looks a lot different than any um, other level so far. Like the like the aesthetic of it. Also, I think this is the first time uh, hearing this music track. This is like probably my favorite song in the game. Like the uh, lava theme. Because the other uh, two levels in this world, uh, 7-1 and 7-4, they use... I think the name of the song is called... Fort Fire Bros, and then this is the like lav main lava theme. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest. And yeah, also it seems like this level, is, this is definitely the world that utilizes its like theme the most, which I guess makes sense since it is like sort of the late game, like sort of final world, but not really, not even close actually. But like, there's definitely been a lot more lava levels in this world than like you know the other themes in any of the other worlds. Also, um. Can I, can I like wall jump off this? I can't really. I was gonna say it's pretty clear that there's something up there, but uh, kind of don't have the recommended power up, so we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. How did that hit me? Okay, to be honest, I feel like I just have to drop down from somewhere uh, to get up there, so why, why don't we at least plan on that to start and uh, we can readjust that plan if necessary. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here, I guess. You can either take the thwomps up or the yellow platform to just kind of just kind of get to the top uh, however you can. And okay, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I needed to get over there like this. Maybe I needed a cat suit. I don't know. Um, or may maybe if I come to the top, I can... Actually, I can probably just... I see what we can do. We can just, like... Okay, I guess there's multiple uh, stuff back here. Um, wait, I, I should have gotten that first. Um... That sucks. Um, can I, like, get through? Like, fine. I'll just jump down again and climb back around, I guess. Ugh, really? Oh, I could have just gotten a cat suit here. Okay, well, I guess I just didn't have a good enough power up. But okay, well, with the cat suit, I can, like, climb up like this. And then climb up like this. And, uh, well, now we're at the top. Alternatively, well, I showed off how to do that the legit way, which, I mean, yeah, so if you, um, don't have a power-up, I mean, I showed how to climb up and then, you know, just, uh, drop down, and, uh, oh, that, that was for a green star? Okay, I, I thought I had to kill them to progress. Alright, and yeah, if, if you don't have a power-up, you can just drop down onto this, and then drop down again, so it's not power-up required, I just drop down to the lower part and I didn't realize that uh, you couldn't get like from where the green star was to where the stamp was. Uh, yeah. Also, that was a very generous section that it had two collectibles at once, but okay. Um, anyways, okay. So yeah, okay, this, you know what, this, uh, this is actually starting to become familiar. Like, I, I do vaguely remember collecting like the keys in a like tower that kind of looked like this. Um, so I, I guess there's that. Although I feel like I remember there being fuzzies as well, so I might actually be thinking of a different level. I didn't think you were gonna move, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, I think about like these levels. A lot of times they have like different behaviors depending on like like I didn't think that was gonna hit me, but whatever. But yeah, I was gonna say a lot of these enemies like they do different things. Um, like they have like different variations, but it's kind of hard to tell that they do things different. Like this guy, he doesn't move. But, like, the other one does, so it's like, what's up with that? Also, um... Really? I have to be big to break through this? Well, that sucks. I don't have any power-ups. Because of these guys. Took them all. But, uh... Maybe there's something at the top. Okay, now he's just, like, edge-guarding me. Um... That didn't grab that. I really don't know how. Um... Dude, can I... Like, the thing about... The other thing is that, like, when you, hit, when you don't have a power-up, your, like, hitbox becomes so much smaller. So, um... Yeah... 
Oh, okay, um, well, there are the... F okay, well, I guess that's not fuzzies, but I, I did remember being chased out, and I guess this is it. Also, I don't have a power-up, so, um, well... Dude! I didn't ro I didn't land on him. Okay. I'm so pissed. I, I hate these things so much. Like, it j it's really hard to jump on things in this game. Like, I don't know if I'm just really bad, but, like, I feel like more so than any other, like, more, it's just really hard to time your jumps a lot of the time. Which is why I usually only kill enemies, like, when I have a power-up. But, uh, this, I was trying to... Okay, um... I... He moves all the way to the end. And, like, there's literally no power-up in this section at all. Okay, well, I'm probably dead again. Dude, <laughs> this is so annoying. Like, this entire tower just kind of sucks. Like, these enemies are so bad. Like, okay, you know what? What I should be doing is just killing every single one of them on the way up. And then, like, I can do whatever I want on the way back down. That's that's a smart idea. Alright, well, I killed all the enemies this time. Uh, I got hit again, so I still can't get through those bricks. So that's really cool, but at least I can get to the end and come back with, like, an actual power-up. So that's nice. And, I mean, when they're all gone just have to run so that's way easier than like you know I mean I'm not really sure if it's necessarily easier I mean it definitely makes this part easier but like actually killing them is super annoying like they're just so hard to hit I don't know I just find jumping on enemies in general to be really hard in this game I don't know if that's just me but uh like it's really the only Mario game where I feel that way like I mean the 2d games it's easy obviously you don't have to worry about like depth but then like the other 3d games I never really have that much of a problem it just this game I have such a hard time telling where things are in 3d space I, I don't really know why uh, I mean I'm probably just bad so whatever uh, anyways well that was that level and uh, well, that's probably gonna be the last level of the day I did kind of do a lot but uh, so let's make it back I assume the green star is just behind those bricks and I just have to make their be there with a power-up, but I somehow failed to be there with the power-up. Like, there's literally only one power-up in this whole level, and it's that one-up, and it's just a super mushroom way up there, and that's like it. Apart from that, you just kind of have to not get hit, which is really not that easy to do when, like, all the enemies are super annoying to deal with. But, uh, well, I'll see what I can do. Alright. I made it here, so basically, um, what you can do is you can, like, do a roll, which is, um, which is done by crouching and then, uh, holding forward. That's not even it? Is it, like, okay, here we go. It's, I guess it was over here. Anyways, there's the green star. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I actually didn't get hit at all, which, I mean, obviously, like I said, you have to... Basically, there's the one... I mean, I guess technically if I was big, I would have gotten a power-up there. But even so, that's one power-up for the entirety of the level. Which, I mean, I know that's... Which, I mean, you know, is, is, is like what you'd expect in, like, you know, a really difficult level. This is just kind of like a standard level that, like, you have to beat in order to beat the game, like, any percent. So it kind of seems overly precise, but whatever. And, well, whatever. There we go. I mean, I guess if you take your time, it's not too bad, but I don't know, just those enemies are just really annoying to deal with. Just because they're, they're just all placed in such, like, obnoxious places where you basically have, where you, you basically have to kill them all, because otherwise getting down fast is way too difficult. So, uh, I don't know, there's really no good way to deal with it, it seems. Unless, I guess, if you have a power-up that deals with them really well. Um, well, anyways, uh, I guess that's gonna be it for today. We, like I said, I assume that that's at least half of the world, if not more, since that was what, like, six levels? Well, five main levels plus this guy. So, yeah. Well, anyways, uh, like I said, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, we have the first half of World 7 slash World Castle, and next time we will do the rest, starting off with, I guess, this path, and then, uh, well, everything else that's left. So, yeah, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.